What's up, MMA fans? Welcome back to MMA Ground and Pound, the YouTube channel with all the latest MMA news. Cheeto Vera ready for Sean O'Malley title fight. Cheeto Vera and Sean O'Malley fought back in August of 2020 at UFC 252. Cheeto took Suga out in the first round and is currently the only fighter to have defeated the new bantamweight champion. O'Malley has been adamant since winning his title he would like to face Vera once again to put the loss behind him. During a recent interview with Morning Combat, Vera said he's ready for the rematch. Oh, zero. Like after the fight, I used to take Dana and Hunter and I was like, hey guys, you guys know where I am. I'm ready to go. So just, if there's something to talk, let's talk it out. But I'm, I'm all in for so I'm sure they will come with something and I, it to me just seems like how not to do it right now. There's no way they don't do it right now. I mean, business-wise is the best time to do it, money-wise, eye-wise. So that's why I, I, I'm not even pushing myself. I don't need to push. It's, it's already served. It's, 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 it's as, as ready to go as you can be. I know I'm fucking hard as a rock. Like, I'll, be, I'll be ready for a, for a proper war and I'm willing to go fucking anywhere. Sugar Sean said that if Cheeto isn't interested in stepping back into the octagon with him, then he'll move on to a different matchup. Do you think this rematch will play out similar to the original match between these two rivals? Let us know in the comments below. Darren Till pleads guilty. UFC veteran Darren Till appeared in a Liverpool court on Wednesday, and he pleaded guilty to driving without insurance and driving while disqualified after being pulled over by police in May. The third charge of obstructing a constable in execution of duty was dropped by the prosecution as part of Till's plea deal. The guerrilla's attorney petitioned to have the hearing adjourned by way of special reasons request, and Till will have to return to court on November 30, where he hopes to have a reduced penalty to preserve his license. If you like our videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button so we can keep them coming. Conor McGregor leaks return to UFC. Conor McGregor's been teasing fans with the return to the octagon all year, but the Notorious leaked this photo on his social media showing a countdown to UFC 296 and the fight between himself and Michael Chandler. The countdown clock on the Fight Pass website has since been removed, with more than 1.1 million people viewing McGregor's post in the first hour after it was posted. It's clear fans are eager to see the former two-weight world champion back in the ring. This leak comes after posting a series of voice notes on X last week, suggesting he would not be taking part at UFC 296. McGregor also said this when asked about December 16th. They're not going to let me fight in December, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like I'm being kept from my livelihood. And I've been feeling this for years. I'm not going to air grievances. I'm going to boy down and soldier on. I'm ready. I wanted an announcement for December 16th. I've given everything. So it's not going to happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. So which is it? Do you think Connor leaked this countdown to get the attention of the UFC and stir the pot? Comment below. Charles Oliveira's Mistake As Charles Oliveira prepares for his rematch against Islam Makachev in October, he's been reflecting on the mistake he says he made for their first fight. Oliveira says before the initial fight with the Eagle, he sent a lot of trash talk his way, and he won't be repeating that this time. That's the only fight I talked crap, the fight against Islam. I made a mistake. I won't make that mistake again. We can only make mistakes once in life. When you make a mistake once, you can't do it a second time. Otherwise, you'll go down non-stop. I won't do it again. If you look at all my fights, you'll see that night I didn't fight 10% of what I can do. Not a hater, not an analyst that's constantly saying crap, but people that understand fighting. If you watch everything I've said for all my fights, the only one where I've gone outside my norm a little bit and said some things, talked some crap, was the one against Islam, and I won't make that mistake again. Charles is hoping to prove that his championship defeat last year was just a bad night, and he wants to bring Islam's reign to an end. Do you think it'll be deja vu for Oliveira, or will he take down Makachev? Let us know in the comments below. Social Media Sean O'Malley shows off a new face tattoo, a crown with champ, and the date that he won his bantamweight title. 
Israel Adesanya arrives in Sydney. Luke Rockhold travels to Colombia. Mike Bisping shows off some screen moves. Ready? Ready? Johnny Bones posts a meet and greet. Michael Chandler shows off a personalized jacket. Kamaru Usman shows himself training despite his knee. Nate Diaz shares his love for Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. Gilbert Burns shows off a sore shoulder and this phone call from Dana White. Jorge Masvidal shares his love for promoting fights. Khabib shares his view from a helicopter. Ian Gary wants to fight Wonder Boy. Because if they want to do MSG, then cool. Let me know. Just let me know the date. Let me get ready. Let me start planning and prepping where we're going to be, where, where like, camp was. Obviously, like, camp was last time was a bit of a choppy fucking changing system. So to be able to have, like, a set amount of time in England and then figure it out, and when we go to wherever we, have, wherever we fucking finish, to just have a set kind of schedule. We say that. No way it's happening. <laughs> I promise you it'll be Wonderboy. I don't see the UFC pushing him against Usman. So I think it has to be me and Wonderboy. I think that's the only way it can be done right now. It has to be me and Wonderboy. Also, who else in the division is going to stand up and strike at Wonderboy? Sean O'Malley assures us it's toothpaste. Aljamain Sterling takes a road trip. And that wraps up the news. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to catch all the latest MMA news. Here are the top comments from our last video. One fan said, I love how all these randos that Sean knocked out before are now coming out of the woodwork to shit talk. Another fan commented on our last video's caption saying, Are you wanking? Great caption. If you want to be featured in our next video, all you have to do is comment below.